Welcome to the new Camtasia Studio. We encourage you to watch and play with this Getting Started Project video to learn some of the most important concepts of using the editor. If you want more in-depth tutorials that will walk you through the entire process of recording, editing, and sharing your videos, then please watch the Getting Started tutorials using this link under the Help menu. The editor is divided up into three main areas, the clip bin, the timeline, and the canvas. The canvas is where you see your video during playback and can move, resize, and reposition all media however you want. The timeline is where you assemble and edit your video. At the top of the timeline, tick marks represent time in terms of minutes and seconds. When building a video, you'll work in a horizontal manner, beginning from the left and moving sequentially through time toward the right. The tracks are layered on top of each other, so media you add on higher tracks is viewed on top of media on lower tracks in the canvas. For example, this callout is placed on top of the video track on the timeline and therefore is on top of the screen video on the canvas. If I drag the video track on top of the callout on the timeline, the callout is now hidden behind the video on the canvas. Use the zoom slider to magnify the view of the timeline. This is very helpful when making precise cuts and selections like removing ums in your audio. New media can be dragged and dropped on an existing track or a new track is automatically created when media is dropped at this location at the top of the timeline. To change the position of a clip on the timeline, just drag it. To change the duration of a clip, drag the edges in either direction. An important part of the timeline is the playhead. To view your video, click play. Notice how the video and the timeline's playhead stay in sync. Click anywhere along the timeline and the playhead moves to that point. To remove a portion of your video, make a selection with the green in point and red out point. Then click the cut button. If you don't want media cut on a specific track, just click the lock icon. If you make a mistake while editing, press Ctrl Z on the keyboard to undo. Or choose edit undo. Double click the playhead to deselect. Next, we'll look at the clip bin in the library. The clip bin holds recordings, audio files, images, and title slides being used in the project you're currently working on. The library stores video clips, intros, callouts, title slides, and other media assets you want to use from project to project. It is pre-populated with professional content you can use in your videos. You can download more media from our website by clicking this link. You'll find a lot more music, callouts, and animated titles to use in your projects, and it's all free. Once you find something you like, like this callout for example, just drag it to a track on the timeline and resize and reposition it as needed. Double click the callout on the canvas to open the callouts tab and edit the text, or change any of the text properties like color or size. You can find a number of other callouts to use in your projects by expanding the Shapes menu. You've probably noticed the video zooming in and out at times. For example, here when it's zooming into the timeline. To learn more about adding and customizing zoom and pan animations to your video, check out the other Getting Started tutorials on our website. We've talked about some of the tabs already, but be sure to explore the others for adding and editing special effects. If they don't all show up as tabs, click on the More tab to explore others, like the speech-to-text capabilities and captions, and the improved quizzing. Also, transitions can now be dragged directly to the timeline and added on top of clips. So we've shown a few ways you can navigate and edit your video, but how do you get content into your video? To make a new screen recording, click the Record the Screen button. If you already have an audio or video recording you'd like to use, click the Import Media button. When you're done with your video project, you'll need to click the Produce and Share button to create a shareable video. Expand this menu to see a variety of presets. We have a new video player that plays back your MP4 video and includes other interactive features like table of contents, closed captions, quizzes, and even hotspots. These features are available when hosting your video on TechSmithScreencast.com or the video and player on your own web server. 
This player provides playback on multiple devices with just one video, whether it's a phone, tablet, laptop, or desktop computer. Well, it's time for you to try Camtasia Studio for yourself using the content on the timeline, or better yet, create your own. We have lots of free tutorials on our website, and I recommend you begin with the Getting Started series. Also, the help file inside Camtasia Studio tells you how to use each of the Camtasia Studio features and applications. One last thing, if you ever want to open this Getting Started project again to view or practice with, use this link here. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy Camtasia Studio.